What's up, partygoers? Welcome back to another episode of The Last of Us TV Show Review. If you are new here, I am Voices Of, and this is The Black Party. If you enjoy this content, hit the subscribe button, drop a like, and wait for the comment. I want to hear it at the end of the uh, video. I don't really want to know your thoughts now. I would like you to see my thoughts and then tell me either what you didn't like, what you did like, what you agreed with, what you don't agree with, or just if you want to say hi. So, we're going to get right into this. This was a solid episode. It's one of my favorite sequences from the game, actually. They did do quite a bit of change-up, but I still enjoyed it. So, last we left off, Joel was in a basement, bleeding out. Ellie sewed him up, and she now has realized, okay, she has to go out because they're running low on food. So, she gets up, she gets out, decides to go all the way out into the forest, see if she can find, you know, some type of animal or anything like that. She kills this deer. When she kills this deer, the deer gets shot and then starts running off, because sometimes, you know, you don't hit the kill shot, unfortunately. However, two individuals find this, David and James. So, David and James were shown at the very beginning of this. They are what looks to be... David is the preacher or the leader of this group that's very religious. Somebody had just recently died, so they were talking about what they were going to do with the body and when they would bury it. He mentioned because of how cold the ground was that they would bury it later. Then it just kind of progressed. We know that the town is getting hungry and starving, so they had to go out and find food. So they see this deer and they're like, whoa, this deer just got shot. It's a godsend. Let's just get it. Ellie pops up and is like, hey, get away from my deer. That's mine. So they were like, all right, well, you know, we're struggling for food too, so how about this? How about we do a trade of some kind? She's like, sure, I'll trade you guys medicine for half the deer. They're like, solid. So one dude leaves to go get the medicine. She's like, no, you're staying here as kind of collateral. They sit down, they start talking back and forth. Come to find out that the four group of raiders that we thought they were a couple of episodes ago, the one that hit Joel with a baseball bat and then Joel broke the baseball bat and stabbed him with. Yeah, the crazy one that did that out of no reason whatsoever just decided to hit him with a baseball bat. So supposedly he is a, you know, he's a father. He left a little daughter and there was some crazy madman that was, that killed him in a brutal way. It's like, Dude, I ain't getting no sympathy on this one. Joel's 1,000% of the right. You had two people hopping up on a horse. This dude comes out of nowhere and hits him with a baseball bat. That's that's pretty offensive. Like, well, offensive, not off. Well, I don't know. Ellie realizes what the situation is. Then we come to find out that the guy that had left, James, he's back and he's pointing a gun at Ellie's head. Fun fact. Come to find out, this guy, James is Troy Baker, who's actually the voice actor for Joel in the game, which is super cool. I think at that point, everybody that voice acted has been put in, like the main stars, except for Ashley Johnson, but I, I think I saw her in the last episode. Last episode is the finale, so be prepared. I think it's gonna be a long one, it's gotta be. They have a lot to do, still, they should. But if Ashley's in it, I'm gonna freak out, cause she's awesome. After James comes up, he's got his gun to, you know, Ellie, and David is like, no, 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 put the gun down, give her the medicine. He's like, what? No. So then she takes the medicine and runs off. They go back to the town with the deer. Ellie gets the medicine to Joel, starts giving him some of the penicillin. It's helping a little bit, but we're not sure much with it. However, flash over to the other group, and... David has now explained that they're going to take a hunting party out in the morning to go get this guy to bring him to justice and to bring Ellie in to be part of the group. Flash forward a little bit more and now Ellie is awake in the morning, goes out, thinks she hears something, sees that it's that group. They're like, oh no. So she runs back, tells Joel, gives him a knife and is like, hey, if anybody comes in here, you kill them. You absolutely kill them. They're like, okay, yeah, obviously. Fast forward a little bit, she gets captured, David takes her back after she gets knocked out, David takes her back to the settlement, and this group of party people have decided to start looking around and trying to find this guy, and Joel kills every one of them, like all three of them, and the last one was pretty brutal, I'm pretty sure he just beat him to death with a pole. When Joel realizes that Ellie is gone, and that these people took her, it snaps. 
Joel is 1000% the protector and he does not care who gets in his way. This was so brutal in so many aspects and in the game it was ve it was also very similar like this whole sequence because in the game Joel wakes up he goes in there and he kills everybody and it was one of my favorite sequences however a little bit switched so now we're gonna move forward a little bit Joel has figured out where she is now we jump and we see David talking to Ellie we find out a couple of things number one David and a couple of the guys that were probably the ones that were hunting party have been taking their dead chopping them up and feeding them to the people because they're so low on food so they got one strike on them cannibalism that's a big strike it's very big next he's kind of a fake preacher essentially he talks about the people just need a father or a shepherd he doesn't really have any type of religious backing to it. It just kind of seems like he was put as a leader and they just follow him. So he's almost made himself into like a Jesus slash God type of thing. It's funky. I didn't like it. I'm Christian and that was like, uh, like <laughs> pick and choose, but yikes. So now he's a cult leader. That's what he is. So cannibal cult leader. Third one. It's gonna bring it all together. He is a pedophile. Yep, he wants to marry Ellie and start a family with her and build a life. And when he's like getting all sentimental and puts his hand on the bar that he, because he, he, he put her in like a jail cell, he puts the hand on the bar and then she puts her hand over his and then he puts another hand and then she takes his hand and breaks his fingers, which was awesome. So great. I was like hyped up for the whole time. So he leaves, comes back with James now, and they're going to chop her up and, you know, use her as meat. So they put her down, and she does the most brilliant thing possible. In the scuffle of them getting into the jail cell and getting her, she bit David, and she punched James. So they put her on the table, they're like getting ready to chop at her, and then she drops it as, wait, 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 I'm infected, and so are you. David looks at his thing and he's like, no, that's not possible. So then she says, no, lift up my arm. You'll see. He pulls it up. They both look at it and they're like, oh my gosh, what the heck? James is scared because James is now like, hold on. David's the leader. He's not going to want to die. So James is probably thinking I'm the one next. While they're talking to each other, Ellie grabs the cleaver and just right into the jugular of James. Dude drops instantly. And it's kind of poetic that the guy who voice acted for Joel died by Ellie's hand. So she gets up, runs out, David starts shooting at her. I didn't understand this. David was shooting at her with a gun. Then the next time we see her go out, she had grabbed like a piece of fire, uh, a piece of fire, a piece of wood that was on fire and she was ready to, I don't know, throw it at him or stab him. He walks out with the cleaver, not with the gun. It's very strange, but he has now decided that he doesn't again want to kill her. He now wants to take her and be a father to her. It's funky. So she throws the piece of wood that's on fire. It starts catching the whole place on fire. They start going back and forth. This was like a cool sequence kind of in the game because I remember like having to sneak around some of these people. So she's like sneaking back and forth with some of the things. Grabs a little knife, goes, stabs him in the side. He like throws her down and then pins her down and a little bit of a trigger warning here. Very much so for sexual assault. But he gets on top of her and starts to hold her down and is pretty much ready to rape her and even says that. He actually says... I always liked them more when they struggle or when they fight back. It's just, ugh, he gave us the heebie-jeebies. She grabs the cleaver, however, puts one into him. He falls back. She gets on top. I couldn't even count how many times Ellie bludgeoned this man. Not bludgeoned, sliced this man with the cleaver. It wasn't, it's not a stabbing type of knife. It is a thud through. And she just went to town. So she does that. David is dead. She gets up, starts to walk out, and then Joel comes up behind her, starts to hold her. She starts freaking out. She is broken, completely busted. And while Joel is trying to console her, he says one thing that he hasn't said 
since Sarah. And he just keeps holding her and he's like, it's going to be okay, baby girl. And I got hit with a wave of emotion on that because this this man has gone through so much. And we have been slowly seeing a father-daughter mentality and a father-daughter relationship build between them. However, this was almost like the peak. This was the very tip of the iceberg. And oh my gosh, was it powerful. The Just that quick line and Bella Ramsey portraying this broken mind messed up version of Ellie in that instance where she doesn't know what she just dealt with. Like it's still processing the type of trauma that that's going to put into her brain. It's a fantastic scene. And they walk away into the sunset and that is closed curtain on the episode. This one was one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites, 9.6, 9.6 out of 10, 1000%, not even gonna fight around with it. I loved all of the interactions that Joel had with this other group. He is brutal. And you can see that he's scared of tapping, he's scared of tapping into that version of himself, but he is such a violent person. And this guy David was kind of harping on that, like he's violent and Ellie is violent and he wants them to be together for it. And it's just seeing how a messed up version of Joel could have been compared to what Joel actually is, where instead of having a twisted idea of what a fatherhood should be, he has the protector. He has the love and the idea of contentment and protection. It's so well done and so well written. And I am very glad that they did switch it up a little bit because I was, I was ready to watch Joel run through that whole town. I was ready to watch him massacre everyone in the middle of a snowstorm while the whole thing was on fire. But having Ellie be the one that kills him, that's gonna start a whole new spur in her brain. I don't know how they have one episode left. I'm hoping that this last episode is like two hours or two and a half hours long. I'm gonna sit and be fine watching all of it. I want this to be a whole movie that portrays everything leading up because there's some good stuff coming. There's some really good stuff coming. So, without further ado, that has been all of my thoughts and opinions on the latest episode of The Last of Us. If you agreed, drop a comment in there. Let me know. If you didn't, drop a comment in there. Let me know. I want to know about your guys' opinions on this stuff. It's such a good series. I love it. I'm excited for season two. I'm going to have depression through the whole thing because it's going to be so racking. But... I'm excited. I hope you guys all have a great day. Hope you enjoy your week. And that's all.